Well, hello, Internet. This is part two of how to save or download high-quality images from any website. You know, I thought that in the first part of this series that I had found every type of image on every type of website and pretty well explained how to download any of those images at any given time and in any different fashion. And then I have, now that I have been notified by this user, Ha, that they have found a website here that, let's go ahead and open it, or I've got it open right over here. Same website. We just won't have to wait for it to load. Okay. So if you right click on one of those images and click Save As, and then I want to put it in my desktop, Save. And now it shows down here that I've downloaded a .jpg. Go back over to my desktop. And boom, it says this file may be damaged. Okay, so there's, there's that file. So the, that's pretty well the way they described the problem that they were having. So I did a little bit of research and I found out what was going on but in the meantime I tried opening this same website over here in Firefox and in Firefox if I click on one of these images and save image as then I get a very different little format menu here and so I'll save it as all files or as all this JPEG and hit save I go over to my desktop and here it is. So there's the image in a JPEG. It turns out that Firefox is just reading those images that the server's sending down differently. So if it doesn't work in Chrome, give it a try in Firefox. Now Firefox has this really neat little inspector up here. So if you click on that and you go into this arrow and then go down to the bottom of that menu for more information you get this weird little screen right here and then up at the top you see it has four tabs one of them says media click on media and then you can pull this bar down and look at all of the different images on that whole website so if we click on this one then we can see we've got it selected so we can click save and then save, we go over to our desktop, and there it is. So I hope that helps, and I, I could maybe try to explain why Chrome isn't allowing this to work. Like, for instance, if we rename this, so it's just the way that they're reading the format, each browser. So if we rename this .webp, and say yeah we want to use that file type ending and then we could open that with by right clicking we could open it with a few different things here open it in Google Chrome and we see that this file type is WEBP hmm interesting let's go back over to the desktop now and let's open this with a Photoshop which on my Apple here it's a pixel mater if you're familiar with that and then, uh, so here we see it open in Pixelmator, and now what one, what a person could do is export it as one of these different types of files and uh, export it to the desktop. And since I've already done this once, click replace. So, and then there we have the PNG version of it converted through a Photoshop program. So I hope that helps, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.